wondering if you could come see me today? See you. Uh, sure. Uh, is everything okay? Hey, babe. Hey. So, uh, how's life? Sarah? Great. Thank you. Fede, congratulations on calls. Honestly, it raised my stress level so much, and I thought that was very <laughs> clever. And I wonder if part of it was um, the electronics. Were they somehow cued to nervous reactions or something scientific? The graphics, you mean? The graphics and sound? Yeah. Yeah, well, I would say scientific note, but yes, experimental. I mean, we did try a lot of things, and we were always trying to figure out what was the right amount of lights and colors that would just create exactly what we we're looking for that will match this moment in the story. It, it was really fascinating for me to try to figure that out with the animators um, during this show to, you know, yeah, coming from film to suddenly not being able to do a close up or, or extreme close up or a traveling shot through a hallway and having to substitute that with graphics, that was a very cool challenge for me. And, and, I, and hopefully we succeed. I mean, we were trying, I know exactly as a filmmaker, you know, not exactly, but I know close, you know, what I need to do with the camera, you know, if I want to make you, you know, invest in a character's emotion or feel afraid for them or, or thinking they're going to die. There's a lot of things you do with the camera to, to, to create that anticipation. Um, so when there's suddenly you don't have that, you have to create the same things with colors and lights, right? So there's, 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 there's a few tricks and things. I think uh, there's a classic one that if there's purple, someone's gonna die. Well, th that, there's definitely some of that. Um, there's certain colors that, that create certain emotions. And, um, and that was the whole experiment with this, to really get you kind of hypnotized with it. And, um, just, yeah, it's a hopefully it was incredible. I mean, I really felt it. In fact, I think I felt it more than had there been visuals of people. Yeah, that that is the goal. I think um, the beauty of it is like you know, we, it, as a director, you're always trying to capture the when you have to shoot it. You have to you're trying to capture an idea that will be that that will. Not please is not word. It's not the right word, but it, that will be what everybody expect to see. Now, you know, if if I say we're gonna to travel to the best beach in the world, and then I have to scout that location and find it. Hopefully, when I shoot it, most people will agree. Yeah, that's definitely a beautiful beach. Here, I didn't have to do it. I just had to say, "Wow, this place is amazing," and you will imagine it. And and whatever comes to your mind will be exactly the place you want to be. Right. So it's a, that's what it does. Um, I think it's a good example. I think it's a, when when Mark Dupla walks into Pedro Pascal's house, he says like, wow, Pedro, a nice place. So I'm sure you imagine a house with certain decoration, certain style that I didn't say anything specific about the house, but everybody has a different house. I always ask people, "How? where does Pedro live? And I got so different, you know, every kind of answer possible and they're all different. Um, but they all imagine whatever is a slick, cool place that matches whoever, you know, Pedro plays, like where that person will live, right? So that, that's the beauty of it. I just allow you to pick and choose and just really go to your favorite place or scariest place or, um, you know, whatever creates well, the emotion, the right emotion for you. It had such an effect on me. The next day, my nephew came to visit and we came into my house and he locked the door behind me. I have four locks. And he said, <laughs> you're safe now, just as a joke. And I thought, oh, and I, I felt oh, I God. needed that after watching calls. <laughs> <laughs> so you succeeded trust me that was really effective and original yeah, thank Holy you. Cow. great thank um you. and also uh just one more question how, how did you pick the uh voice cast because i'm i'm assuming you were looking for something very specific yeah i, I think you know we 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 were super lucky to really get everybody we wanted, you know. Um, I think mostly because we, we ended up producing the show through the pandemic and uh, and all these actors were eager to go and do what they do best and what they really want to do and like to do. So so we it gave us a chance to really pick and choose. We were like going through episodes and going like, who would be great for this? And this would be great. Uh, Mark Duplay and Peter Pascal, let's do it. Great. And Aaron Taylor Johnson and Riley Keough will be great. Let's offer them. Great. They want to do it. Every, everybody was, I think it's a testament, obviously, 
to the to Apple and also and also the the scripts. You know, we work with a yeah. with a great a talented room of writers, and I think we end up producing great stories, and everybody responds to them, and we end up getting a great a great cast. It was it was it was great. Well, you know, they were not voice actors per se. I think a lot you know a lot of them did voice work anyways, but uh, but it was for them. It, it was great for them to go to a place where. They could mess up lines, go back and forth, right. improvise. You have a lot, a lot of freedom, right? That usually yeah. you don't have as much of the film. Right? And they didn't have to worry about makeup. Thank you so much, Freddie. Exactly. That was just amazing. <laughs> no. Daddy. How's my little girl? Mommy's crying in her room. She said you were on a trip and that we might not have you for a long time. <sighs> what? things we can't explain. What are you saying? I just heard some weirdest noise outside my window. It's all in your head. Do you think I'm making this all up? Oh my God, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Please have a phone with me. Oh Can you hear the words I'm saying right now? Do not come here. Listen to me. We've had a lot of strange calls. Just to me. I thought I was maybe on the call.